to know what else we have at the 38 Connection. Well, I have some news. Are you ready for the news? Are you ready for the news? Here it comes. We are gathered here today <laughs> to pay our last respects to a 238 icon. For the last 11 years, the Chocolate Fountain has been the centerpiece of the 38 Connection. However, last January, on our 11th year, the fountain erupted its flavorful goodness one last time and has given up the cocoa. Now the chocolate fountain is at rest in that beautiful dining table in the sky. No more clogs in the tubing. No more messy drips onto the floor. No more running out of milky sweet chocolate. The fountain has taught us so many things like the importance of immersion versus sprinkling. Long life friendships were made at the fountain. Relationships were strengthened. We shall not soon forget how you can fill up any room with joy, Chocolate Fountain. The fountain is probably looking down on us and reminding us right now to be willing servants, no matter, no matter who gets thrusted into our lives. We will forever miss the fountain Strawberry is here, and he wants to share some kind words with us. Strawberry. spending time with the fountain. Thank you, fountain. Me and Nana. We'll miss you. <laughs> I do have a letter from the fountain before he went. And it reads like this, it's his last will and testament. <laughs> I, Chocolate Fountain, 11 years of age and single, a citizen of the Bakersfield area and currently residing in the 238 Youth Conference, with sound and disposing mind and memory and without having been forced, intimidated or unduly influenced by anybody, have hereby voluntarily executed and proclaimed this instrument as my last will and testament, that I am the servant of sweetness to all that attend the 238 Youth Conference and have owned the show for the last 11 years, and now hereby bequeath all in all my duties in full to my underling, the donut. <laughs> I hereby proclaim this as my dying wish and desire which my heirs should respect all the provisions set forth in order by me in its entirety for the last 11 years. Thank you, 
So this year, there will be donuts. Plenteous, round donut holes that you can take and roll in sprinkles, that you can roll in powdered sugar, that you can let it frolic amongst the boysenberry sauce and gently, tenderly put it upon your taste buds. And remember the chocolate fountain. I think it's very important right now at this moment that we, that we go to prayer. And I know there's a lot of confusion right now. But we are going to pray. We're praying for the peace that passes all understanding. We need peace that passes all understanding. Fred <laughs> not, it is I once again. The Archangel Coco. <laughs> Gabriel's cousin, the guardian of the chocolate fountain. Yes, what you heard today is true, but I am here to let you know that although we are coming upon dark times, and no, I'm not referring to dark chocolate, <laughs> for all chocolate will not be flowing from the fountain this year. So as we're coming on dark times, I want to let you know that all good things come from the Lord. So I want you to go tonight over to the 238 Connection, partake of those donuts, take of those little round spheres, roll those donuts in, brown, in powdered sugar, dip those donuts in sprinkles, bless those donuts in cinnamon, splash them in poison berry, and Submerge them in chocolate sauce. Because we all know we don't sprinkle, we submerge. So remember, weeping may endure for the night, but donuts shall come this evening. I'm right, excited to be at the 238 Youth Conference. We love young people. Praise God. Let's all stand together as the youngsters prepare.